Well, hello again. Welcome to our reading of the Greek New Testament, and I'm reading through the Apocalypse of John, uh, up to chapter 13, verse 9. A tiseke us akusato. If someone, eke, has an us. Us is a nominative, third declension. Us, otos, is the noun, it means an ear. And we get the imperative here, let him hear. So if someone has an ear, let him hear. A tis es aik melosian, es aik melosian hoop age. Uh, so it's literally here, um, if someone, um, we have to understand something like is destined for uh, aisk melo, uh, melosian is a word for captivity. And Eichmelotes is a captive. It's an interesting word. It comes from Eichme, which is a sword in very old Greek. Uh, one of the words for sword and Eichme. And the, uh, the hal here is connected with haliskamai in the passive, meaning to be taken. Haliskamai in earlier Greek was used as a passive from Hyrio to take, and the root of it is hal. Um, so it's uh, eikmelosian is the act of taking someone by the spear. In other words, it's an abstract noun meaning captivity. So if someone, understand, is destined for captivity, hoop ago. He goes, literally, hupago is often means to lead in late Biblical Greek, but here it's sort of, he goes, ace aik melosian, into captivity. So just to put that again, if someone is, understand, is destined for captivity, he goes into captivity. Uh, Aetis in makaire apoktenthenai, auton in makarei apoktenthenai. A similar structure here, if someone, understand, is destined, uh, apoktanthenai is the aorist passive infinitive from apoktano with an epsilon iota, so you get a vowel gradation to the alpha, uh, so it means to be killed, it's the passive from apoktano, so if someone is destined to be killed, en makaire, this is another word for sword, uh, so N here in that instrumental sense of by the sword. So if someone is destined to be killed by the sword, then again we have to understand it is necessary for out on him to be killed by the sword. So just to put that together, complicated little bit here. So if someone has an ear, let him hear. If someone is destined for captivity, he goes into captivity, and if he is destined to be killed by a sword, it is necessary understood for him to be killed by a sword. Hodiestin he hupomone kai he pistis ton hagion. Thus is the steadfastness and the pistis, the faith, ton hagion of the saints. Kai edon ala therion. And a bind on ectes gais, kai a ken kerata dua homoia a neo, kai elale hos dracon. And I saw another beast. We had the mention of the earlier beast in the earlier part of this chapter. So I saw another beast, and a bind on, similar structure as before. This is a neuter participle from anabino, agreeing with therion. So I saw another beast arising from the earth, and it had two kerata horns, uh, homoia neo, like to a lamb. Kai elale hos dracon, and it was speaking like a dragon. Kai ten exousia to protu theriu pass on poie in opion autu, kai poie ten gain, kai tus in aute katoi kuntas, hina proskunesus in to therion to proton, 
who is the repuse he play a gay to then a two out two uh, and um, the uh, the authority of the first beast uh, in fact the Passan must go with the Exousian so all the authority it's, it's interesting that it's been removed over the here slightly displaced uh, so the authority of the first all the authority of the first beast so uh, Poye is the subject so it enacted, I think, it made use of, perhaps as poyos to do or make, but perhaps wield might be a good word here. So it wielded all the authority of the first beast uh, in Opion before him, so perhaps in his presence. Slightly tricky line that one, with the verb delayed and the passan going with being delayed from the exousian. So just that first bit then, um, it wielded all the authority of the first beast in his presence, kai poye tan gain, and, uh, well, it made the land, or perhaps caused the land, and those dwelling in Aute in it, hina proskune susin, that they will worship the beast, the first beast, uh, of whom... The uh, this is the plague. Eh? This is the the the, um, the smiting of death, and we get the outu repeated. That's that repetition of outu, which is unnecessary. Was healed. So whose uh, death stroke had been healed? So just to put that bit together there. So and poye something like it caused the earth, and those dwelling in it that they will worship. So he caused them to worship, we'd say in English. The first beast of whom the the death blow of it uh, was he had been healed, was healed, the aorist passive. Kai um, Poye semea megala hina kai pur poye ectu urunu katabainen es tengen enopion ton anthropon kai planatus kat oikuntas epites ges tia diata semea ha edothe auto poye sain enopion tu the riu legon tois kat oikus in epites ges Poiesai e conato the rio, and I'll just pause it there. Uh, and um, he made great signs, hina, in order that also he might make fire from heaven, catabinane, to descend, infinitive, to descend upon the earth before or in the presence of men. Kai planna, this is from planna'o, to cause to wander. It's got a more of a, it can mean just to wander, it's got more of a causative sense here to, in the New Testament, to cause to wander those who were living upon the earth. Dear Tasemea, on account of the signs, ha, which edothe auto, it was granted to him, poiesai, to do, perhaps perform, enopion to theriu, before or perhaps in the presence of the beast. Legon, saying, now the katoikusin here is a dative plural, present participle from katoikio. So it goes with the tois. So saying to the ones dwelling, upon the earth, so telling the ones dwelling upon the earth, poiesai, to make, icona is accusative from acon, third declension now, we get our word icon from this, of course, it means an image, so speaking to those dwelling upon the earth to make an image for the beast. Hos, 
and then it continues on Eke Tain Plegain Tes Makaires Kai Edzesin. So the beast who Eke has the um, well the blow, the plegain, in play so to strike. So the blow from the sword. So although he had a blow from the sword and understand yet he uh, lived, he came to life from Tsao. This is the aorist. So just repeating that bit there. So saying to those dwelling upon the earth to make an image for the beast, the beast who had the blow from the sword and came back to life. Kayadothe auto dunai pneuma te iconi to the to the rio hina kai lalese he ekron to the rio kai poese hina in brackets hosoi ean me pros kune so sin te iconi to the rio apok tanthosin and uh, there it was given to him do I to give so we get the aorist passive from Dodomi and then there's just the aorist infinitive so it was it was granted to him perhaps for the first one it was granted to him to give pneuma to give literally breath hence the idea of life well to give breath te iconi that's the dative from acone and there, there it is there in the next bit here. It's a feminine noun, third declension. So to give breath to the icon, or the, sorry, the image of the beast, Hinakai, in order that the image of the beast also might speak, subjun era subjunctive from Lalio, and might do, and the Hina's in square brackets, uh, because we've got an aan already here, it's very odd grammar. Uh, uh, and to and he might do. Uh, so in order that, I'll take what's in the bracket here. In order that as many as. Now the aan is just for an. This is fairly common in biblical Greek. So aan sometimes means if, sometimes when it's already after hina, it just is used for an. So in order that as many as might not worship, this is the error subjunctive from proscunio, might not worship the image of the beast, they will be put to death. So they put an, a hina in here, not in the best manuscripts, but you do need it to make sense that hina is affecting the subjunctive here. So just to put that bit together, it was granted to him to give a give spirit, i.e. life, to the image of the beast, in order that um, we get a chi and a chi. Both it might so in order that the image of the beast might speak, and it might act, in order that as many as will not uh, sorry would not worship the image of the beast might be put to death. Kai poie pantas tus mikrus, kai tus megalus, kai tus plusius, kai tus ptokus, kai tus eleutherus, kai tus dulus, hinados in autois karagma epites keras auton tes dexias, a epito meta pon auton. Kai hina me tis dunatai agorasai e palesai e me ho ekon to karagma to onoma to the rio e ton arithmon to onomatos are two. A long uh, part there. And uh, he did, sorry, well, perhaps here it's in the sense of um, he made, I think, or caused. I think would be better here. So, as in verse 13, we saw that sense of cause from Poyo. So he caused everyone, the small and the great, and the rich and the poor, and the free and the slaves, 
and so we get the uh, usual threefold riser here except each one's got two groups so we've got the, sm the small and the great, the rich and the poor, the, the free and the slaves so he caused all of them in order that so we would just say that so he caused all of them that they might give sorry that he might give to them uh, karagma now um, there's a verb carasso which originally meant to scratch something and uh, when you scratch something you leave a mark and so the karagma is just the abstract noun formed from carasso to scratch so this means a mark so in order that uh, he might give to them a mark, epites keros, upon their hand. So Greek often does this. We would say on their hands, but Greek says on the hand of them. On their dexias, on their right hand, or upon their met uh, upon their forehead. Uh, and in order that Matis know what might be able agorasi infinitive from agorasto to um, to buy a polesi aorist infinitive so this is from agorasto aorist infinitive this is from polio uh, aorist infinitive to sell you'll often see shops in Greek with poleon at the end of the word a place where you uh, sell something. So, in order that no one will be able to buy or to sell, a may accept the one having tokaragma, the mark, uh, or perhaps having as a mark, to onoma to theriu, the name of the beast, or the arithmon to onomatus out to, or the number of uh, of his name. Hodi he Sophia Estin, this is wisdom. Ha echon noon, pse fisato ton arithmon to the real, arithmos ga anthropoestin, kai ha arithmos autu, hexa kosioi, hex a conta hex. So this is wisdom, the one having noon, a mind, or perhaps understanding. Psefisato is an, uh, an imperative, from, it's a middle, aorist middle imperative from Psefisdomai. A Psephos was originally a pebble, and often used, a Psefisdomai in classical Greek meant to vote, actually, to cast your pe pebble and hence to vote. It then comes to mean to line up the pebbles in the sense of counting. So it's which which is the meaning here. Let him count. Let him count the number of the beast. So uh, this is wisdom. The one having a mind, let him count the number of the beast. For the number, for it is understood the number of a man. Anthropo. Kai ha arithmos outu, and his number understand is. Uh, 666, i.e. the famous 666, and unfortunately there's variant reading and some manuscripts just have uh, uh, 616, they've got Decker in um, there, uh, so 616, so in place of the hexaconta they've just got Decker, so 616. Anyway, the text we have here then says the number of... Uh, so let the one having understanding, having a mind, let him count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And the number of it is 666. And that is the end of chapter 13.